Every year, the world consumes more than 100 million tons of watermelons, a huge number that requires a large investment in resources and arable land. The strong development of the watermelon agriculture industry not only brings great economic value, but also demonstrates the power of technology and creativity in cultivation. So do you know how the journey from sowing seeds to ripe watermelons sold on supermarket shelves takes place? Let's explore the secrets of watermelon agriculture through this video. Growing watermelons is a process that requires a lot of effort and dedication. It's not just a matter of sowing seeds in the ground and waiting. Farmers have to face many challenges, pests, harsh weather, and unpredictable changes in nature. To be able to provide millions of watermelons each year, the growing process is not simple. Soil conditions are the key factor. The soil needs to be loose, well-drained, with a pH of around six, which is slightly acidic, to help the plant grow vigorously. Land preparation begins five months before planting, including plowing, fertilizing, and creating ridges to ensure the soil is at its best for the plant. In modern agriculture, technology is a great help. Farmers often use specialized machinery, especially black polyethylene plastic mulch systems, which help retain heat and moisture in the soil. This system not only helps the watermelon grow steadily, but also saves costs, labor, and minimizes weather risks. For large-scale farms, giant seeding machines are put into use. These machines are capable of covering a large area in a short time, and moreover, they ensure that each seed is sown at the correct depth and distance, optimizing germination and minimizing waste. To improve accuracy, the GPS system is combined with the seeder, ensuring that each seed is sown in the right place without overlapping. As a result, farmers can optimize the use of seeds, fertilizers, water and pesticides while minimizing costs. Watermelon is a thermophilic plant, growing best at temperatures between 17 and 36 degrees Celsius. However, when the temperature is too high, the plant can be damaged. Therefore, watering plays an important role throughout the plant care process. Especially in the early stages of cultivation, farmers often water for at least 20 minutes a day to ensure the plant receives enough moisture. Irrigation methods are very diverse, from gravity irrigation, canals to drip irrigation. These methods not only help plants maintain a stable soil temperature, but also provide water effectively, avoiding waterlogging or water shortage. Fertilization is also a key factor. To achieve high yields, farmers need to analyze the soil before fertilizing to ensure that the right amount of nutrients are provided to the plants. Lack of elements such as nitrogen, calcium, or potassium can lead to quality and yield problems. In modern agriculture, farmers use broadband fertilization or foliar fertilization techniques, which deliver nutrients directly to the root zone or through the leaves of the plant ensuring the best growth without wasting fertilizer. Once the watermelon plant begins to bloom, pollination is necessary for the fruit to develop. Bees are natural and effective pollinators, but in some cases, farmers have to pollinate manually when natural conditions are not favorable. Although manual pollination is time-consuming and labor-intensive, 
It is sometimes the only solution to ensure productivity when the bee population is too low or the weather is not favorable for natural pollination. Watermelons need at least six hours of sunlight per day to grow well. Depending on the variety, the growing period of watermelons ranges from 70 to 100 days. And throughout this process, farmers must closely monitor the plants to ensure that they thrive. After months of care, when harvest season comes, the giant harvesting machines come into play. With an impressive working width, these machines help harvest quickly, minimize losses, and optimize labor efficiency. To determine whether a watermelon is ripe or not, farmers often rely on signs such as the part of the melon in contact with the soil turning yellow, the curly rib near the stem drying out and turning brown, or the melon's rind becoming more opaque and harder. In small fields, harvesting can be done by hand. But for large-scale farms, machines are still the superior choice to ensure speed and efficiency. After harvest, Watermelons are carefully packed into well-ventilated, padded containers to ensure that the fruit is not damaged during transport to markets or supermarkets. Watermelons do not keep well at room temperature, so they are usually stored at two to three degrees Celsius with a relative humidity of 60 to 80% to ensure that their fresh taste is maintained during transport. In supermarkets, consumers can choose the best melons by tapping the rind to hear a hollow sound or pressing lightly to check the rind's tightness. An interesting thing about watermelons is that in Japan, people have created square watermelons by growing them in specially shaped containers. These melons are often used as unique gifts. We have just discovered the wonderful journey of watermelons, from small seeds to sweet watermelons on your dining table. It is the result of countless efforts and dedication from farmers. Hopefully through this video, you have learned more about the production process and advanced techniques applied in modern watermelon agriculture. If you love this video and want to learn more about the journey of other agricultural products, please take a moment to like, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest videos from us. Don't forget to click the notification bell to receive notifications as soon as new content is available. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye, and see you in the next videos.